Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at the EMARTH telescope. This was a unit that they provided to me. It's the F360-70. Let's see what we have inside. It comes packaged in this nylon bag. a shoulder carrying strap adjustable so you can take it with you on the go nice and portable got two zippers here and a velcro inside we have the instruction manual it's going to tell us how to use it We have a map of the moon, tells us some of the features and stuff that we can look for when we observe the moon through the telescope. And we have, they're calling it a star map, but a lot of it is more of a planet map. Some other items to look for through the telescope. Here is the finder scope. So this is going to mount on top of the telescope. It has a wider field of view and is going to allow us to aim at the objects that we want to see a little bit easier than trying to find it through the telescope directly. Here we have uh, the right angle viewfinder. So this will mount into the telescope lens and it'll allow us to kind of stand up and look through the telescope without having to kind of crouch down and try and look through it straight. So it's an ergonomic design. It includes a tripod. So we'll be able to uh, mount it, hold it steady, the legs do it stand. We got two sections at it stand. So it comes up to a reasonable height. So it's probably off the top of the camera. But comfortable height, at least to uh, stand and look at, especially with the, the right angle lens. It's gonna make that a little bit more convenient. These are the optical eyepieces. They're going to go into the, the other end of the right angle. And this is what's going to provide us two different levels of magnification. They do recommend that you start off with the lowest magnification first until you get adjusted to using the telescope and then progress up to the higher magnification. And finally, we have the telescope itself. It's a nice uh, combination of blue and black. So under here is the mount that's going to go into the tripod. We've got our focus rings so we can focus on items. This is where the right angle mount is going to go in. The thumb screw um, secures it. And this is our mounting point for our fender scope. So that'll be mounted on here. So unfortunately the weather's not cooperating with us today, so we won't be able to go out and look at anything. But uh, as soon as the weather clears up, I'll at least see if I can get some photos. I'm going to try and take some photos with my phone through this to see how close I can get to the moon and other celestial items. So. Be sure to watch the channel for an update on that. 
Thank you for watching. Okay, I've got the EMOS telescope all set up. A couple things I wanted to point out. It does include a dust cover for the lens to protect it when it's in storage. Here we have the finder scope mounted. And we've got the right angle view piece. And I've put the 25 millimeter lens in it. And this does come with a eye cup that folds down. So if you wear glasses, you fold this, it's easy with two hands, there we go. You fold it down out of your way. If you don't wear eyeglasses, you fold it back up. And that keeps your eyes at the right distance away from the, the lens. The tripod actually stands taller than I thought because there's actually a another section to the leg that I didn't notice when I shot the first part of the video. Plus, up here on the head of the tripod, if we loosen this, this part of the tripod actually comes up so we can actually get quite a bit of adjustability out of this tripod. So this is going to suit a lot of different heights because like this is probably just about right, maybe a little tall for me to use. And I'm five and a half feet tall. So there we go. Some of the features of the EARTH telescope. And as soon as the weather improves, I will get some, uh, try and take some shots and see what it looks like. So this is the weather we're currently having. You see it's raining, it's overcast. This is why I'm not able to uh, bring the telescope out today and see what we can find. But hopefully in a day or two, once all this clears through, I'll be able to provide some updates.